Today I have a video review of the Nikkor LR30. This is a new light by Nikkor and they advertise it as a high CRI portable camping lantern. And a couple of quick stats about it. Here it is, you can see it's really small. It is powered by an 18650 that's not included. Explain more about that here. Quick couple of quick stats. Um, on maximum it's 205 lumens. It's available in three colors, yellow, green, and blue, and this is the blue model. Um, the maximum runtime run in low is 62 hours. Um, it is, the beam diameter is 20 meters, and uh, it's impact resistant to 1.5 meters. So this is a neat lamp. Um, I have been using it t this week for a few different tasks, and uh, let me go over the features. First of all, you've got this uh, rubber grommet. You can use this to hang, um, like on a camping, someplace in your tent or something like that, or hang it easily in a kitchen or a room. I think this would be a perfect light, in addition to being camping, to something just to keep around the house in case the power goes out. It is, is magnetic, so you can easily attach it to, um, say, a refrigerator or something, and it will hold itself up. With that long runtime, it would be great to keep around in case the electricity went out. It does use a 18650 battery, and it's really easy to get into. You just uh, pull that back, and there it is. It is magnetic, as I was saying before. Um, I don't know how water resistant it is. There is an O-ring here. Nikkor doesn't make any claims about it being water resistant, so I wouldn't get it real wet, but uh, I would guess, since it's got that O-ring, it'd be okay for damp or, or maybe light rain conditions. I wouldn't want to put it under water, though. I happen to be using a Lumentop uh, 18650 battery, which I quite like. Um, I do have a review of that in my channel you can go take a look at. But it's really easy. You just put it in. Um, this only goes in one way. There's a little tab that it attaches to in this slot. And it snaps together. You do get an additional O-ring with the uh, light. And then you've got options on how it operates here. So you've got this power button. You long press and you get uh, low. You press again, medium, press again, high. And I'm outside in the daytime, you can probably hear the leaf blower or the wind occasionally that uh, I can see. But, so it's not super bright where I can make a, you know, a, a visible, big visible difference here in the daytime, but this is really quite bright um, when you're using it in a darker situation, obviously. It's really well diffused um, and high CRI. I actually was helping some family members with uh, wall prep and painting this weekend and uh, I had this with me and decided to try it out there and I'll roll in footage here of that. I've got the Nikkor LR30. Um, this is a camping light primarily but I found it works really good for a spot inspection light and I'll show you here. Um, here it is on medium mode and I'm, I'm sanding a wall um, and it really just it's really well diffused. It's a high CRI light so it, the color is good, and I'm just using it to help sand um, and tell what I sanded, what needs some more stucco and whatnot. Um, works really good for that. Then this is high. It's just more light than I need here, so I'm, I've been using medium mode, and that works good. So I'm here uh, helping my family paint, and uh, I've got the Nikkor LR30 here, and it, we found it's really useful to... Uh, see where it needs additional paint. Um, it's just really bright and you can see the color underneath and we're, we're doing a pretty drastic color change, but it's it's a nice light for that as well. It's nice and diffused with a high CRI. I found it really helpful when we were sanding um, the walls. The room we were in were, was just dark and just didn't have very good light. This did a really nice job with really even diffused light to uh, show the flaws in the wall and to uh, damage it. It was really easy. Something you could either put in your back pocket or in your uh, shirt pocket if you had one to keep it going. So a few more runtime and output features. This light can also run on uh, CR123s or RCR123s. What I will quote here is the time on an 18650. In my opinion, the 18650 is definitely the way to go. You get a lot more capacity um, per size, I guess, than you do with a CR123 or RCR123. Don't get me wrong, those two cells have their purpose, but for something like this where probably runtime is the most critical feature, the uh, 18650 is definitely the way to go. 
So on high mode, it's 205 lumens for 3 hours and 30 minutes. On medium, it's 85 lumens for 8 hours and 30 minutes. Low, it's 12 hours. There are 12 lumens for 62 hours. And One thing I want to show is what the LR30 weighs with the battery installed. So I've got my scale here. And it's 108.4 grams. I think that's pretty reasonable. And uh, good performance weight for its size. One thing I didn't mention earlier was this light also has a red feature in addition to the white. So how you get to that is you double click and it is red. You click again, you get a strobe. You click again, you get an SOS. And then to turn it off, you just long press and it's off again. So that's really nice when you're camping, especially you don't want to ruin your uh, night vision. It'd be great to uh, go to the restroom with it or late at night so you can still see what's going around. Um, it'd work good for that. So another thing this light has that's nice is it has a blue LED inside there that'll give you a power indicator. It's right by the switch. I'm going to try and show this. It's uh, not very bright and it's it's uh, pretty bright outside here so I, hopefully this will light up and work. So you press the switch once and you get a blue LED and you can just barely see it there. Um, and it will blink four times if it's full um, and then decrease as it's not full. The other neat thing this light has that something that I didn't even discover till I read the uh, manual. It's got a positioning feature is what Nikkor is calling it. So with the light turned on, you uh, hold down the button for three seconds to turn the light off. And this will indicate, uh, give a power indicator every two seconds. That little blue LED we use for the battery, that'll flash every two seconds. And with a fully charged 18650 and this op uh, operational, it'll blink for six months, months and uh, 12 months when in standby and the power activator feature is disabled. So y this would be nice to put in even a go bag or something where you want that light that's easily accessible. You don't might know where it is, but you want this to flash. Just kind of another, another option. Overall, I really like this Nikkor LR30. Um, I don't think it's a light I'll use every day. It's not something you'd carry, but for its specific application, I think it's great. It'd be great to uh, illuminate a maybe a tornado shelter or something like that um, when you're you're in that situation where you need a lot of long runtime and a decent amount of light. Light that's really diffused and spread out. Um, the camping application is certainly there. If you uh, do a lot of outdoor camping, that would be great to put in your tent, light up the tent. One battery would be plenty for uh, weekends camping in my opinion. Uh, running on medium mode with an 18650. Um, 85 lumens is enough to get up, get dressed, all that type of stuff. And that's 8 hours and 30 minutes. Overall I like this Nikkor LR30. It's uh, nicely made. It is plastic. Um, I think it'd be fun for kids to play with if they wanted to. Uh, probably not real little kids, but because uh, it does have magnets and those could come out conceivably and be a choking hazard but I think uh, you know all kids love flashlights and this would be certainly one that's fun it's pretty easy to operate to get it to work by holding the button and it's bright enough that uh, it won't hurt somebody's eyes but uh, it certainly does the job I think it's a fun light and I think uh, it has nice it has nice applications thanks for watching today's video please uh, take a moment and subscribe and uh, like this video share it with your friends if you found it helpful